Here's a little thing about motivation, okay? Motivation. That's not a thing, okay? Maybe one day you wake up and you're like, I'm gonna do this thing. I'm gonna read a book. I'm gonna be awesome, okay? Super cool. And then you read a book and you feel great. And then the next day you wake up and you're like, I'm, I don't feel it. And sure, you don't feel it, and then you don't do the thing because you don't feel it. And a lot of people will convince themselves that if they're not feeling it, then they shouldn't do it. I'll wait, I'll wait till I get the, the urge to do it. But if you want to get good at something or if you want to form a habit, you can't just do it when you feel it in your, your gut, in your chest, in your bones. Right? If you, every two weeks... Uh, are motivated to work out it's not gonna do much for you like studies show you need to work out like three three uh three days a week for 30 minutes or something like that and you're healthy but you shouldn't rely on this motivation to pop up because it's so unreliable you never know uh what day you're gonna wake up and feel like actually doing things you think the most successful business people and stuff like that are just really motivated? You think you think they just wake up every morning and think, ah, I'm going to do everything. Granted, they're probably all like coked out, but like for the most part, if you even just see like a friend that's successful or they're really good at guitar or something like that, or they read a lot. And you think, oh man, I wish I had their drive, their motivation. That's the thing. There's a difference. There's a difference between motivation and drive. Drive is what you need. Drive and just like grit. Because drive and grit exist unconditionally. It's not something that you need to wait for to spontaneously pop up. Drive is just getting up and doing the thing because you know you have to. Doing the thing regardless of how you feel. And even if you're not feeling good, doing the thing and even just going through the motions. You might not have your best day working out. You might only read like a, a few pages of a book, whatever. But as long as you're getting up and doing something instead of putting it off because you don't feel like it, that makes it's such a difference. So don't, don't say, uh, I'm not motivated. I, I need some motivation. Can you help me out? Or something like that. Ask people to help motivate you. No one is going to do that for you. There's scientifically a, a feeling of pain when you do something that's like difficult or, or something like that. You've definitely had to study for a class or do homework. And you feel that feeling in your chest. It's almost like physical pain but you know you have to do the thing. And that's when you push through and you do the thing anyways. And then, usually, afterwards, you realize it's not so bad. Uh, working out kind of has this... Uh, this kind of process for me. At least for me. Where I really don't want to work out. Then I'm mid-working out. And I'm like, uh, this is kind of uncomfortable. And then afterwards, I'm like, yes! That was awesome. I, I'm happy I did that. Same thing with uh, doing work or something. You've probably felt really good after finishing an essay, clicking off all the tabs on Google Chrome or something. But you realize that it's really not that hard. It's just kind of this false uh, pretense that you have to wait for this motivation to pop up for you to do it. And if you feel discomfort at all, you need to stop. And that's not true. So the next time you are hoping for motivation, don't. Just do the thing. Let me try and conclude this. Let me get a really cool sentence out, okay? Ready? Um, I don't know. Don't, don't wait for motivation. Just do the thing. All right.